Welcome to episode six of Wicked Roadie, a wicked good podcast about Rhode Island events and life. Hello, everyone, and welcome. My name is Mary Larson. And I'm Benjamin DeCastro, and together we're the hosts of Wicked Roadie. Welcome into a beautiful weekend on tap. Of course, coming off some almost quasi summer like weather That's the past true. few days. It's been awesome. It has. It has. I actually moved this week with those lovely 80 degree days. So uh, it did not feel like I was moving in October. It could be worse. You could be w- moving in the middle of January I, and having to shovel a path for the movers. All set. All yeah, set with that. Yeah. We moved to somewhere that has central air. So bring on the 80 degree weather. That's it. The flip of a switch. You guys are all set. I got to pull the window units out uh, this weekend mm-hmm. out of the uh, out of the windows. Susan was a little leery. said, when are you going to pull these out i said listen this is rhode island that's it (laughs) we could have a blast of heat one more you never know and sure enough the ac has been on a few different times just to just to just take the bite out you have to almost wait till halloween because you don't know if your halloween costume needs to have a winter coat or honestly just be short sleeves sure sure yeah no there's been times it's funny when you get a really cold halloween you know i almost feel like parents are all upset because the kids can't go out trick or treating without the use of like their winter coat and a scarf and a hat. It's like, oh, I spent all this money on a costume. Mm-hmm. You can't even see it. It's true. It's true. I think that's why most of the time my parents had me wear a coat as part of my costume. Now, I was what, like a secret agent, so I'd just wear a trench coat. <laughs> now, what do you what do you hand out for candy? At Halloween. Ooh, um, I mix it up. So I either pick, usually I like to pick candy that's, that I like to eat. I'm a big Three Musketeers fan. Okay. I like Kit Kat bars. I love that little crunch right there. Sure. But if I'm watching what I'm eating, I get um, like Snickers. I know people love Snickers, but I don't sure. like Snickers that much. Yeah. So I'll get Snickers candy so that way I'm not tempted to eat them. I do know that it's a big thing to give out Snickers and stuff that is not stickers yeah things that aren't candy oh okay. this is this is like now that i'm a young parent this is what other parents are saying like please give out stickers and pencils and i'm like that's no fun no kidding no how kidding. about you what do you give i out? usually i'll grab like a couple bags of candy i'll put them in a big bowl and at some point i'll just get tired of getting up mm-hmm. and i'm gonna open up the door one of these times and i'm gonna open it up and say congratulations kid you won and i dump <laughs> the entire bowl into the bag yes. and watch them drag it down the walk, shut the lights off. I'm done. Done. It's, done. you know, so usually by the second or third kid, it's like, there you go. <laughs> but I actually one year bought a, a box, a, a case of SpongeBob mac and cheese. What? And yeah, and I was given that out because it was, it was wicked cheap. Yeah. And, uh, and, and like the parents are like, well, this is dinner tomorrow night, you know, yes. like, oh, this is so cool and everything. There you go. Have fun. That is brilliant. And uh, I had more kids come to the house the next year and I had lame candy. So it just wasn't, you know. No SpongeBob mac and yeah, cheese. No, it wasn't going back to back year on that. The budget didn't allow it. No. Nope. Oh, it's like those people who have the King King candy bars. I always went to their house. That's it. <laughs> Today's sponsor is the American Band. Now, the American Band is one of the oldest and finest bands. It's celebrating their 180th season. They continue the tradition of golden age of band music in America, performing great music from classics to contemporary pieces. The band is comprised of, get this, over 50 adult musicians from Rhode Island, nearby Connecticut, and Massachusetts. Wow. So you can learn more at www.theamericanband.org. But I wanted to play a little snippet for you because this is the wind ensemble that I play in. <laughs> So you get to hear like the trumpets. I can hear that baritone sax. Right, that's me. There that's you go. <laughs> Love the baritone sax. This is awesome. You know, I've got a lot of friends that are musicians that tour, and this band is, you know, it, it's local. It stays around this area. This is awesome, and it, you know, the hundred eightieth anniversary of it is just it's more the reason to get out there and see and support these local musicians because this is something they do. In addition to their full-time jobs or whatever they do in life full-time. So definitely thanks to the American Band, the great people, great organization. If you want to learn more, obviously visit our website. We'll have the links there. Ben, why don't you tell me something that's wicked interesting going on here in the Ocean State? (laughs) 
Well, this year, this weekend is the second annual 401 Film Fest. It's happening Friday, October 21st through Sunday, October 23rd, and it is amazing. It was started to provide the independent filmmakers and students and enthusiasts alike with little or no funding and students of Rhode Island with a local film event that they deserve. Fun fact, you and I both know the founder of this. It's Adam Thoreau, who works over at WPRI. He worked with you on the road show. Mm-hmm. He's now the uh, he's now a uh, one of the big producers over there over at WPRI. But this is so awesome. He got the idea to start off this uh, this film festival from working and volunteering, really volunteering with big brothers and big sisters of the ocean state. He's got a little brother that he's been working with for a couple of years now. And he said, how can I give a little bit more? So he put this event together. He doesn't take a dime from it. 100% of the proceeds go directly to big brothers and big sisters of the ocean state. It's Friday and Saturday at the Arctic playhouse. The doors are at seven and the Friday and Saturday night is more for a mature audience. Now I'm not saying that it's racy or raunchy and everything, but it's, more adult you know based you know it may have some language or or you know different you know themes less less than children friendly scenes um and then on sunday it's definitely all ages family friendly and and that one is at dean's list academy when the doors are at 12 so head on over there they've got a ton of prizes going on they've got some great raffles happening throughout the weekend so head on over and if actually if you want to learn more about adam and why he put the thing together adam was my first guest on carpooling with ben back this past summer so if you go uh, to the page you can see uh, his interview which was great it was great and big brothers big sisters of the ocean state is such an awesome organization so i love that you can actually go see independent films you usually don't get to i mean you really right. just kind of see what's at showcase or the providence place mall cinema i mean a lot of people do try to go to theaters like the cable car cinema for yep. example and you yep. do get to see some independent films there but this i mean how many how many did he say is going to be shown he, I, I don't remember how many he said it was going to be shown but no matter what half of the of the viewings will be rhode island entries wow he gets he gets entries from all over the world i mean he gets them from many different countries but at least half of them are rhode island uh the ones that get the final submissions Mm -hmm. the ones that get the final pick half of them will be from rhode island submissions very cool well here's something that's wicked fun in the 401 It's the homecoming and family weekend over at the Roger Williams University, and uh, I've got some friends who are on the team over there for the softball, and they actually have an alumni versus current players slow pitch softball game on Saturday, and it's a lot of fun because, you know, softball is typically a springtime sport. It is. And if you've got kids that are in high school or younger that like to watch these players, you know, these games, this is a perfect opportunity to bring them over there on Saturday. They've got a ton of things happening. If you go to our website, we have all the listing. Maybe you or somebody you know went to uh, Roger Williams University. It's a beautiful college over there in Bristol, Rhode Island, right on the Mount Hope Bay. So uh, head on over there. You can bring along your friends, kids, parents, whatever. And uh, it's going to be a fun game just to take in. And, you know, it's it's free. So you can't beat that. Free's for me. Mary, tell us uh, what else we got. The Steel Yard. So have you been the Steel Yard yet in not. Providence? So I the Steel Yard is this really great uh, revitalized space that had made steel. So they're going to be holding their 11th annual Halloween Iron Pour. It's going to be Saturday from 5 to 9 p.m. And as I said, the Steel Yard is located in Providence. General admission tickets are just $10. Well, so it's not bad what, at all. Oh, it's not. It's so, so fun. I mean, you can go and meet up with some friends. You can bring your family. You can go on, on a really interesting date. So here's what happen. So the steel yard, it was like this abandoned steel yard manufacturer place. And now it's become almost like an artist village where people are able to go and and work with different metals. They also hold tons of different classes for different artists. So if you wanted to learn how to make jewelry, I know that they have that there. It's a really great organization here in the Ocean State. And this is one of their biggest events. So remember how we had Pronk just last week? Right. And it was kind of like this really urban, fun, different event. That's kind of the same feel that I get from the Iron Pour. So what they do is it's pretty much this theatrical display. There's going to be people there in costumes. Heck, if you wanted to go in your Halloween costume, you could. You could go, but generally people like us would go in our normal clothes, bundle up a little bit because it is an outdoor event. But the 
the people who volunteer for this event, they make like a theatrical display out of this and they actually melt 2,500 pounds of molten iron and then they have like this tilt and so there's going to be flames and it's just this really different fire and molten metal display that becomes almost a show in and of itself. And there's food trucks there and there's all different kinds of musical performances, but it's a really neat, unique fall event. I know a lot of people go to bonfires, for example, in the fall. So it's like a bonfire except molten iron wow that's if that makes really sense. cool oh man we're gonna have to check that out that yeah. is uh so that's saturday night saturday starts night starts at five mm-hmm. okay. in providence cool also coming up this weekend it is the seventh annual amazing wish race which benefits children wishes of rhode island now you can gather your friends gather a team and challenge yourselves uh to this fun statewide scavenger hunt throughout the day with different challenges it's like the amazing race that you saw on television mm-hmm. in fact it's hosted this year by louis stravato who was part of the amazing race season 16 so on october 22nd the teams will be giving clues from multiple challenge sites they'll have to travel there and your time you whoever gets the fastest time wins some awesome prizes. Now, let's clarify this. It is not the fastest time overall. Okay. They don't want anybody speeding. They don't want anybody doing 100 miles up and down Route 146 or 95. <laughs> it's the time to complete the actual events. And I only know this because I was part of it for a little while. You can buy time Ooh. off of your time. You can buy seconds to add on to another team. <sighs> so there's a lot of jockeying around at the end, at the at the after party or the, the, the award ceremony because people are adding time to this person and adding time to that per- person or that team. And, and the fun thing is, You pay a little bit of money to get those extra, you know, those chances, Mm -hmm. but all the money goes to help benefits children's wishes, which provides wishes for critically ill children, uh, terminally terminally ill children, I should say, as well. Um, It's so awesome. They're going to have some pretty amazing uh, local, you know, reality show celebrities there. They've got... Louis Stravato's partner, who owned right, the yes, right. Michael yes. Naylor. I was, I, I drew a blank there. Uh, Michelle Costa, who's from Big Brother season nine. Jason Roy from Big Brother season seventeen. Derek Lavasser from uh, Big Brother season sixteen winner, and the current star of Discovery's ID Hard Evidence, Jim Vaglicia. Uh, he's uh, part of the expedition and Impossible and True Grit. Oh my god! So yeah, so they've got a lot of. A lot of star power going on mm-hmm. here. So you think the sparks will fly over at the Steel Yard? No, the sparks are going to be flying throughout the state with all these stars here. Uh, part of this whole amazing wish race, the seventh annual. It's going to be a lot of fun. Head over to our website. You can get all the information and links there. It's going to be fun. So also going on Saturday, October 22nd, in the evening at 6 p.m., uh, it is going to be Highlight Salon actually is presenting what is called the Pink Party. And this is their third annual fashion show. Now, I'm telling you this because it's something that's near and dear to my heart. My mom is a breast cancer survivor, henceforth the name The Pink Party. Mm -hmm. And all of the proceeds from this event are going to be helping the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer, the American Cancer Society. It's going to be a fundraiser for that. So here's what The Pink Party is. It is held at the Varnum Memorial Armory in East Greenwich. So that's right on Main Street, East Greenwich. And it's an event for women and men. It is a fashion show and the models are breast cancer survivors. Oh, that's so great. Yes. So they've all battled breast cancer and Highlight Salon has has dedicated their time and other uh, stores have, have let these women borrow different articles of clothing. And what happens is these women who've gone through so very much, who have gone through different treatments and different surgeries possibly, they get to feel beautiful and special and and sexy and amazing and friends and family and just other people who want to cheer them on and help raise money for such an awesome cause get to go and these women put on a fashion show and this these clothing articles are provided by local local vendors and and local stores so if you like what they're wearing you can go and buy it the very next day so they'll be putting on different fashion trends but as i said it's just for such a great cause for these women who have gone through so much who've survived it who are strong and beautiful and myself and will gilbert who is a host on the road show are going to be emceeing the event that is so awesome and you know events like this the clothing is important let's i mean we have some really talented designers and everything but this is such a great boost for the people who are modeling because the, the women that are modeling because they've they've gone through it. This is such a great 
just a you know a self confidence boost mm-hmm. for them. They 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 are beautiful. Yes, they look amazing, and it, it's great that you have a different reason to get them out there on stage and applaud for them because it. it's it's a battle it, it really is so that's so great so when is that that's that is saturday okay. at 6 p.m in east greenwich at the varnum memorial or armory museum so that's that big it looks like a castle when you head on down to east right, greenwich it's right on main right. street across from what used to be the post office cafe is it still the post it's office cafe? At, post office there cafe is it's, back it's back at it yep. so it's right across the street from there and tickets can be found actually through our website wickedroadypodcast.com awesome what do we have going on in rhode island that's wicked family friendly <laughs> Also on Saturday, so Saturday is the hot day, it's guys, day. here in Rhode Island, is the West Warwick's Community Appreciation Day. Now, this is going on from 4 to 9 p.m. at River Point Park. The PVD food trucks are going to be there. There is going to be a minimum of eight food trucks. So if you're a food truck connoisseur, this is the event for you to go to. To me, to me that translates to a minimum eight-course meal. <laughs> Because right. I am going to stop at each one and support them equally. I love that. You're right. Because especially usually they're, you know, they're handheld items. Yeah. So you kind of feel like, oh, this wasn't too much. You feel like you're a hobbit from Lord of the Rings. You need a second and third dinner. I, I don't know if you've watched those films. I haven't because the Muppets haven't done a take on it yet. <laughs> well, that's how hobbits eat. They eat many courses. So right. they would they would love the Providence food trucks. So there's going to be live entertainment. It's family fun. Uh, there is a beer garden, which, you know, the little ones will not partake in. But that way, if you want to go with some friends, you can head on over. Milazoni's fine catering is going to be there as I said all the food trucks and from 4 to 5 there's a pumpkin derby I don't even know what that means what is a pumpkin derby I'm thinking that it means you roll them and you see who can roll them the fastest because don't derbies mean it's a race I I would imagine if you know what a pumpkin derby is go on the comments on our Facebook under this episode let us know what the pumpkin derby is because we want to know before we go I just get very excited by that sound by that name and from 5 to 8.30 p.m. there's going to be live music from the Driftwoods and get this at 8 30, there's going to be some fireworks. Oh, that's so much fun. You thought fireworks were done after no, summer ended. Oh, of course not. We, no. Yeah. We, we, we like fireworks throughout October here in Rhode Island. So, how, as I said, this. How much is, does it cost to go to this event, Mary? It's free. Oh, it's free. That's great. Isn't that insane? Love it. Especially <laughs> if you're doing every event we're talking about. You, you know, you, could, you can appreciate the budget, uh, the budget friendly side of things mm-hmm. here. The, that's uh, right. That's awesome. Yep. So once again, West Warwick's Community Appreciation Day. That's what's going on. So speaking about going on, I want to know what's going on just over the border. A memo to Robert Kraft and all the people up at Gillette Stadium. I think you guys would go completely berserk in the stadium if you played Borderline by Madonna at some (laughs) point during the game. Just saying. Scott Zolak, if you're listening, that's going to be amazing. But speaking of the Patriots, it's the Cardi's Furniture Extra Point Football Show happening again this Monday, October 24th at 7 p.m. at Cardi's Furniture in South Attleboro. This week's guest is scheduled to be the rookie Cyrus Jones. Now, you can get a free autographed color photo to the first 100 people who arrive, and uh, it's it, it's limited just to that photo. So this is really a family-friendly show. You can't bring a, 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 steep, a seat from the old Foxborough Stadium. You can't bring a helmet with a thousand signatures. This is not a collector's event. This is really geared to be a family-friendly event. If you want to bring your little ones or bring you know your friends to meet a Patriots player, this is such a fun awesome event plenty of free parking over there at Cardi's Furniture in South Attleboro 7 p.m. it is a taping for WEEI FM the 103.7 the Providence Station and also it's a television taping because it will be shown the following Sunday on my RI TV so it's a lot of fun Scott Cordishi hosts it of course he's a Rhode Island legend when it comes to sports casting mm-hmm. he works over there at Brown University uh, and uh, for all the information head over to our website but again it's Monday October 24th, 7 p.m., New England rookie Cyrus Jones scheduled to be in the house at Cardi's Furniture in South Attleboro. Not going to lie, that's my favorite favorite Cardi's Furniture. Why is that one your favorite? I think because when you go in, I kind of feel like I'm Belle from Beauty and the Beast. It's just so expansive with all the different levels. And I, I just get very excited. I was just in there earlier this week. I told you we're moving. Right. And we realized that we are moving to a place that has a few too many rooms, more than we have here. And we realized okay. we don't have a couch for our living room. So uh, I was I was shopping there just recently and I said, you know what? 
This is my favorite Cardi's. It's such a fun store. They've got the community room up on the third floor. You can, if you have an event, you know, for a group, then you're looking for a space to host a meeting or a small free event. Again, for a community group, you know, if you go on their website, they can get you uh, registered and you can utilize the room there. It's got a bunch of multimedia options. And uh, yeah, the, the 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 design team that does that showroom there. I mean, they do all the stores, but that that store as it's well pretty awesome it's it's amazing their job the design team is literally just to decorate and make the furniture look amazing that's what they do all day long they're brilliant at it some of the best designers in the business so that that's what's happening but again the football show is monday night october 24th at 7 p.m awesome So during this part of the show, we want to thank those of you who've taken the time to write us a review, whether it was on your podcast app or on Facebook or on our website, because that's pretty cool that you took some time to let us know what you think of the show. So Ben, who wrote in this week? We got our first Stitcher review by Natural Lime, and they wrote exactly what Rhode Island needs. The smallest state in the union, Rhode Island, has some of the biggest events and personal, uh, personality And Mary and Ben's weekly podcast delivers great information about the interesting people and places in the Ocean State. Wicked Roadie is an awesome and informative podcast for anyone who lives or works in the Rhode Island area. I I, I mean, I'm just blown away that they'd write something like that. about That was very, very nice to them. So thanks to Natural Line for writing that. And, you know, really reviews is how we help spread the word organically. And, and, And so if you are listening and you have a moment... We'd love it if you went over there and, and tell us what you think, whether it be on Facebook, on uh, iTunes, or on Stitcher. However you're listening, uh, it means the world to us to hear because we just want to make sure that you're happy with what we're doing. And I get so happy that I've decided to take these reviews up a notch. I'm just deciding it right here. I'm going off the fly. Ben's okay, like, this is not in the Google Doc. It's executive decision time. Go for it. If you take the time to write us a review on a podcast app or, as I said, on Facebook, anything like that, Send us a snail mail at wickedroadypodcast at gmail.com with your snail mail. Oh, not a snail mail. I said send us an email with your snail mail address. Okay. And you're going to be on our holiday card list. All I'm right. going to send you a holiday card when the holidays arrive. That way, instead of getting bills and junk mail in your mailbox, you're going to get a nice note from Ben and I. There you go. So if you have taken the time already, shoot us an email address with your snail mail address. And if you haven't done it yet, be sure to head on over to iTunes or Stitcher and then email us after because you're going to be added to the special Wicked Roadie holiday card mailing list. And fun fact, if you can actually read the card, you know Mary wrote it. (laughs) Yes. Just a reminder that today's episode was sponsored by the American Band. The American Band is one of the oldest and finest bands, and it's celebrating their 180th season. They continue the tradition of the golden age of band music in America, performing great music from the classics to contemporary pieces. It is comprised of over 50 adult musicians, including myself, from Rhode Island and nearby Connecticut and Massachusetts. You can learn more at www.theamerican.com. Band.org. All right, Mary, what do we have for giveaways this week? We have two pairs of tickets. So that's four tickets total, but for two different winners to see the Rhode Island premiere of Bleed for This. Now, Bleed for This is a movie that was shot here in Rhode Island. We were sure. talking about actually movies earlier in the episode that uh, people have shot in Rhode Island. But this one was done by Verdi Productions, and it is the true story of Vinny Pazienza. Now, Vinny Paz is a very well-known person here in Rhode Island He's and in the Ocean State. He's quite a colorful character. Yes, he is. And and back when he was in his big time of, of wrestling, of boxing, excuse me, of boxing, he... Um, he was able to win two world championships, got into a car accident, was told you're never going to walk again, nonetheless fight again. And then actually like worked out privately and was able to go on and win some more championships, which is crazy. So the lead actor in this movie is Miles Teller. A lot of people were able to participate in the filming, whether at the Dunkin' Donuts Center or Twin Rivers Casino. You got a very special announcer in the ring. 
<laughs> NBC 10's Frank Carpano. Yes, yes. I saw that. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to be having. He has that stature. Oh, he, gosh, I mean, he, he looks so good in the preview. Yes. I mean, just standing there. Because I mean, <laughs> he was posting up Facebook photos mm-hmm. about it as well. And he looks awesome. So yeah. shout out to Frank. You look great, buddy. So this event is actually happening before New York gets to premiere the movie. Now, this movie's been in London and been in the Toronto Film Festival. So I think it's pretty cool that we're getting this before New York does. Very good. Um, and it's going to be on November 10th on a Thursday. And as I said, we are going to have two pairs of tickets. This is something you can't buy tickets to. It does come out nationally on mm-hmm. November 18th. So you could wait. You could okay. wait a week. Well, who wants if, to wait? Nobody. You want to go to this super event because there's going to be stars there. The media is going to be there. Sure. There is going to be a Q&A. So you're going to want to head on over to our website to enter to win a pair of tickets to see Bleed for this. All right. It's time to close out the show. Man, these shows fly by so fast, but we cover a lot of great events. And if you want to reach out to us online, you know, you can find us on Instagram. If you see something beautiful in the state, snap a photo, hashtag Wicked Roadie. We'll find it. We will reshare it and, and like it and share it with our friends as well. You can find us on Facebook and uh, you can also reach out to us through our website, WickedRoadiePodcast.com. That's right. Show the love, share, subscribe. And if you have a moment, head on over and leave us a rating and a review in your podcast app. It really means so much, so much that I'm going to send you a holiday card, guys. I I love you that much. All right. Until next time, ladies and gents, I'm Mary Larson. And I'm Benjamin DeCastro. And you've been listening to Wicked Roadie.